prayer today is that chains are falling off. Amen. Yeah, chains are falling off. Amen. Every cage. When the anointed vocabulary was going on from Isaiah chapter 1, 45. Isaiah 45. Go back to that place. You must not stay inside the cage when the bars of iron have been broken asunder. Amen. You remember the story of the rat that has been put in one place for so long under a cover. So it will always go to the edge of that cover and come back for so long. And when the cover was removed, it will still go to the normal edge and it will return. You didn't know that there is no more barrier, no more limitations, no more demonic curtailment. The snare is broken. Your soul is escaped. When the word of the Lord has gone forth, all you need to do is to step out. Tell your neighbor, step out. When the word of the Lord has gone forth, all you need to do is what? Yeah, because there shall be a performance of those things which were told you from the Lord, which were told me from the Lord. If God said it, beloved, it is guaranteed. Heaven and earth will pass away. Not one jot. Not a dot of his word we go unfulfilled. Not only does his word happen to us, his word makes us God. His word, in other words, makes us have God experience. Because he said, if I, if he has said, he said, I have said unto that ye are gods. All of you sons of the most high. He said, if he call them gods to whom the word of the Lord came. He called them gods to whom the, when the word of the Lord has come to you, the next thing to do is to begin to have your God experience. And that is why we are as a wonder unto many. But he is our strong refuge. He's our stronghold. He's our backbone. He's our backbone. They looked at the apostles. They looked at the disciples that time. They knew that they were unlearned. They knew they were just rugged fishermen. But they observed that they had been with Jesus. And Jesus has entered them. And they were manifesting like Jesus. And I tell you, the word of the Lord will enter you. And you will manifest the word of the Lord. And not only that, this is a morning of distributions. God that took the spirit that was upon Moses and he put it upon the 70 elders that they may bear the body with him, that they may do the same things that Moses was doing. That thing is happening again this morning. And you will not lose your portion. When you see a manifestation that is lesser than God, find out from that person what is where are you receiving donation from? A less than God donation that is making you behave like this, think like this. Because when the donation of God enters your life, it amplifies your mindset. You see, you begin to see the way God sees. You begin to understand the way he understands. You may not be able to replicate heaven as it is, but you can do some stuff that is beyond man, that is beyond the natural. That everybody will know this is not human. When they say this is not normal, it means it's not human. It's beyond human. And that's the dimension that God is bringing his people onto. Don't say the Lord to his anointed. Somebody anointed here this morning. You don't sound like that. Is somebody anointed here this morning? When you are in the presence of God and your mouth is heavy to shout. It means you are under a barricade. And I come in the name of Jesus Christ, the head of all principalities and powers this morning, to break those barricades of darkness. To break those barricades of darkness. 
Thus said the Lord to his anointed. Is somebody anointed here this morning? Is the spirit of the Lord upon somebody here this morning? To Cyrus, what is your name? Put it there. To Oyenike, that is. Whose right hand I have holding? To subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings. To open before him the two lived gates. Every lived gate before you this morning that say you will not go forward, that say you will not go beyond this level that says you have reached the peak already when you have not started I command those gates to open you know some gates open and they close again but these gates, when they open, they shall not be shut. They shall not be shut. In other words, you have perpetual permission. Perpetual permission. To keep going forward. And keep going forward. And keep going forward. In an unending manner. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. You don't know brass. You don't know brass. Brass is strong. It won't let you, you can't just go by beyond. He said, We'll break it into pieces. Take it out of the way. And caught in sunder bars of hire. When they put people in prison, they say put him behind the bars. And no matter how stubborn, how rebellious he is, how wicked he is, he can't. There is nothing your flesh can do against bars of hire. You just have to stay behind it. And I see the hand of the Lord coming for his people this morning such that things that your human the best of your human efforts cannot handle the hand of the Lord shatter it into pieces and what is going to happen treasures of darkness hidden riches of secret places but barriers are taken away this morning I just see those walls of curtailment coming down. That says you will not go beyond this level. It's happening in your individual lives. And it's, it's happening. It's happening in Abuja Dream City. You don't light a candle. Listen. You don't light a candle and keep it under a bushel. Rather, it is put on a stand so that it can give light to the whole house. And two things I see in the spirit this morning. God does not do premature exposure. God does not do premature exposure. He completes his work if you look at Psalm 139, you see how you are fearfully made, walking curiously in the heart of the belly, in the belly of the earth, <laughs> in your mother's womb. When you, start, you, you don't see baby formation in the public. Sometimes before a woman's, a pregnant woman's tummy is showing, depending on the the nature of that person's body. Sometimes, they are five months pregnant. Fact, there is one woman that will pastor. She will be seven months pregnant. You won't know she's pregnant. She's very tall and huge. 
she will just wear one dress like that. You won't know that um, she's seven months pregnant. So when people hear she delivered <laughs> next month, they are surprised. Was she pregnant? But so, was something being formed? And what was being formed, those tiny little things that are coming together, there's a time, the fetus does not look like a human being, does it? Thank God we have a... Um, <laughs> Pastor Dr. Gukoya in the house this morning that deals with um, neonates, or what do you call them? Neonates. Mm -hmm. those, those tiny things. Tender. Tiny. And then thank God for advancements in medicine that they can deliver how many months now? 27 weeks, 25 weeks. But they can't deliver one month. They can they don't have it yet. You understand what I'm saying? But you see, it doesn't look like it. It's so, but it's for me. It doesn't look like it, but it's for me. It's coming up. Something is happening in the, in, in the belly of the heart. So there is a time, there is a time that God is working under. God does not, there are so many things God doesn't do in the public. Until, until such and such a time that when it shows up, no matter what shows up or rises up against it, it will stand. So don't be in a hurry. You know when daddy starts coming for apostolic service in any region, he will tell them don't publicize it. When we started going to Lagos, Ah, you know Lagos people, we go for sure. They wanted to go. To, I said, no. Daddy said, no, don't publicize it. Just let the members of the church gather. I'll minister to them. And then let the inside grow first. Let the inside grow first. You know, we have a, there is a turbulence in the spirit over the church at large now. Make it happen versus let it grow. <laughs> people don't want to wait to let it grow. They just want to make it. If it's possible for people to, to just burn a muscular giant, they will attempt it. But it can't happen. It doesn't happen that way. And you see those tiny little things start forming. There is a time the heart has not formed. Is that, am I right? There is a time that... Um, the, the eyes are, have not, has not formed. Uh, you know, it, it's forming. It will form. That boy will still be the president of a nation. That will issue one command, bam, and it will bind the old, the old populace. You understand what I'm saying? But there was a time. There was not, no hand to even lift. If he speaks, you can't hear. He's still in the womb. No voice to even come out. But it's something for me. Abuja Dream City, something is for me. Something is for me. So that looks like a digression from bars of fire being broken because I saw quite a number of it. I see people's hands were handcuffed. Whatever is not letting you be free to do what you must do now to get to where you must get to, let that thing be broken off your life. In the name of Jesus. He said, whose right hand the Lord has holding? If the Lord has held your right hand, then you should do valiantly. Not that um, the enemy capture you like this and you are you will not just be there you will do something Amen. you will not just be there you will do something Amen. so i see that's your own word personally snares are broken Amen. you will a grace is coming upon you today you will just have liberty to proceed you to be you just be able to proceed from where you are to be able to just move on Tell your neighbor, move on, move on, move on. Will you just go back to your seat? God bless you. But Abuja here, 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 you pastor stay. I see that Psalm 139 in focus. 
And I thank God that God has given us a father in this house, an apostolic joint that has a patient heart to wait for what God is doing, has done, and we do. Most people don't wait. You may catch a vision. You may see something. And then, you want to make it happen instead of wait for it to grow. You say, write the vision. Make it plain on the tables that it may run that rate. You say, don't it tarry. What did he say you should do? Wait. Because it will surely come to pass. I see, maybe it is even prophetic that you are using this place that looks like under, you know, I just feel I'm in a hole. Every time we come here, I say, God, get them out of this place fast. I, I, just, I, just, <laughs> I just feel like I'm in a, I'm in a hole. <laughs> but I know God knows what he's doing. Because it's not every time. God doesn't, there's something, it doesn't start on the surface. So that by the time it breaks out, uh -uh, and they say, what is this? Let's borag it. It's on boragable. If there is such a gram. It's a, because God has finished his work inside. And that is what I see that God is doing for the uh, Abuja church, Abuja region. And I want you to be patient. Let God work on you. Let God work on you. There are some of you that there may still be strange spirits trafficking in your life. When God is still going to use you, peculiarly in the minstrel's anointing. If you post now, you don't allow those divine works, you won't go beyond where you are. You won't go beyond where you are. And in six years' time, you are not even relevant anymore. May that never be your portion. Amen. There are some of you that you have not, your mindset must change. So many things still have to change before God will be able to do what. So wait for God. Wait, I say. <laughs> Just like that scripture. Just wait for what God is doing in your life. Something, every time there's an apostolic service, there's a peculiar internal move. Internal move of the spirit. Of course, by the hands of the apostles, there will be signs and wonders. I will soon finish my session now. God's servant will start ministering. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be delivered. Jokes will be broken. All the diagnosis. I hope you brought your diagnosis. Every diagnosis you have will be quenched. Because the healing power of God will flow through you. So all those things will happen. It is the Father's presence. Miracle is a common place. But beyond that. Beyond that. Because you need to be physically fit. To be able to do what God wants you to do. Say, I'll be physically fit. I will enjoy sound health. When you see a minstrel that has cancer of the truth, that's the bad, bad devil. You must not let the enemy attack your system. You, God needs your vessel. He needs your vessel. He needs your vessel. So he will always come to heal us. He will always come to help us. He will always come. What you need now is no more money, baby girl. <laughs> what you need now is more of the Holy Ghost in your spirit, more of the sensitivity to the Holy Spirit in your, in your, in your spirit. Sometimes more money is some people's more problems. Because when you have, the moment you have more money, you go start doing what will put you into more trouble? Well, sometimes I tell daddy, I say, is it not better for some people not to make it? <laughs> because when I see what damage making it has done, I say, it's better for that brother to have seen being that old problem. He was doing better. Now he got a second kind, impregnated the house girl. You may want to take your seat, please. But stay here. This is, so wait for what God is doing. And not only wait for what God is doing, understand. And God is going to open your spirit. Open your understanding. You will know what God is doing. At the time that he's doing it. In the name of Jesus. You will know what God is doing. 
you will know what God is doing. And something I said is happening this morning. The first one has happened. So just go and walk in your manifestation. Whatever wants to just cage you, keep you on one spot. Whether in spiritual things or physical things, it is broken so that you can proceed. You can go forward in the name of Jesus. If there is any, any student here, I don't know if there is anyone here that you are having problem making progress. You finished secondary school and years are passing. So again, admission is becoming a problem. <clears throat> and you are now doing one irrelevant course after another irrelevant course around. Is there anybody like that here? Anybody like that here? Struggle. Struggle. Nobody like that here. Okay. No problem. Whoever it is, that hold is broken. Amen. You should go forward. Amen. Because I see it in my spirit. I remember I went to the Ife Church, Ile Ife Dream Center that time. And then God came to move and there was such an anointing that came to help somebody. Those, I, see, I just saw it in this way. I saw some have written why 10 times. Some have a uh, regular customer of jump. And it's like that ancestral monster say you are not going to pass through this level. I said, come. Come here. And they came. And then, you know what happened? All of them it's a pity, uh, Professor Loyede is not here. He will be my witness. He, was, he followed me to that. He was one pastor in that branch that time. All of them. They came out. They were up to about 15, 18 of them. Some six years. The, their colleagues have graduated. They have served. They have done NYSC. They are still writing jam. Some, in fact, there is one particular one that thrilled me the most. Ten years. Ten years. Yes, ten years. You could, you could not just... The devil is bad. And I, I hate, I hate lack of progress. Because it's not good. You think lack of progress is good. I hate it. When I see a child that they say is four year old, can't walk. I hate it. I say, I, I break the head of that monster. Whatever it is that won't let. Physical or spiritual. I just walk, talk. Do what you should do at the right time that you should do it. And the snare got broken. All of them. All of them. To the glory of God. All, every single one of them. To the glory of God. In fact, some got two admission. They had two admission. Now the problem is which one to choose. As they were going to OAU, Uni, Lauren, UI, and different, all of them. And I told them, I said, don't go to NCU. Don't go to the College of Education because it must be, it is a sign that it is God that has visited you. And when God brings restoration, it's always something higher than what you lost. It's higher than what you lost. Are you ready? 